Hello, today I'm here with a new video for you who doesn't know who I am. My name is Lisa. I do a lot of makeup related content, maybe only makeup related content here on my channel and I'm also a cruelty free YouTuber. And today is the last day in my lethal week. So I have had six videos up this week where I have used my single shades from lethal or maybe I should say all the shades that I have bought as singles. And I can leave like the playlist up here. And I don't have that many shades left now for the last day. I have these left. So I am going to play with, I think maybe all of this six like bluish greens. Because this one, these ones are like the shades that I've used the most when it comes to my little lethal shadows. And as normal I will leave all the shades down in the description and also they will come up here when I use them. So so these are the shades and maybe you want to see them a little bit closer. So it's green and blues. And I'm going to start with the most blue ones in my crease. So I will take this one and then deepen it down with this darker blue. And I hope that this will look good. So I'm making like a blue crease with a green lid. And are you a little bit crooked? And it has been so, so fun this week for me. I have really like got the use out of my lethal, lethal shades more. And that was what I wanted to do this week. And I think that you have thought it has been fun and I've get more than one comment that you also started to use your lethal shades more that I inspired you and that feels amazing and thank you. So that feels really really good and if you have been thinking about lethal which if you have been thinking of buying some shades from Lethal but you haven't known which one, I hope that this week might have helped you as well. I think they do amazing shadows and I I don't have a shade from Lethal of these. I think I started out with 30 shades that has been like bad. Not a single one. Then I'm going into this blue one and going to deepen this down a little bit. I think this is really pigmented though, so maybe I should tap it off. And I actually think this week, I think my first look is my favorite look, or I did the green and a purple look, I really like that as well. But I actually think my first look that was pink and purple is my favorite and that is not something that I usually love that much but I think like I'm starting to figure out which purple and pinks I like because I don't like them all. Okay, now I will take this dark green, this one and this shimmer on my lid. All I know is that I want to start out with this darker one just to put it a little bit in my outer corner and maybe I should take a smaller brush for that and just kind of take this like an hour V shade but not like strictly like an hour V. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I just put it <laughs> at the end of my lid here. I just have to swatch and see if I'm going in with the shimmer now or the matte now. And I'm like really trying to use different brushes than I usually do because I often use the exact same brushes but I have like more. So maybe that is going to be like go for me this year as well. 
use my eyeshadows more or use my makeup more and different things and use different brushes. So now I'm going in with this one and I don't know. I guess it's a little bit of a difference to them. I don't know how much. But okay, it was. I really hope that this will look good. Now when I see how it looks on my eye. I'm going in with the darker one. Blend it a little bit. It's just going to be like a little tiny hole for the shimmer shade. So now I'm going in with the shimmer and we will see how this will look. I guess I can go over a little bit into the shade next to it. I don't know if this is like turquoise shade, blue shade, green shade, so I'm just seeing the shade. <laughs> Where is it? Some teals? I don't know. Okay. It's not the best look of the week. And I don't know what I feel right now. I think I might just need to blend it a little bit more. And how do I feel about this look? I think I would have wanted the shimmer a little bit more on my eyelid. But I think I would like drag it down on my lower lash as well. So I think I will go with the lids like this. Maybe I should go in with my crease brush just to take it here and blend everything. So I'm going to go with the lids like this. I'm going to put on my base. I know it will look better with my base on and I will also fix my brows. So for my under eyes I want to go in with the shimmer one like in here but I think I actually want to go with this one that I had this one that I had in my crease first to have mostly on my lower lash and I did use a setting spray that I don't have that much in and I have to decluttering it because it's it wasn't good anymore. I'm taking this and I think this might be enough. So something like this with a matte and then I'm going in with this shimmer. And I'm going to spray this, or maybe I should try without. Okay, I try without spraying it, so I'm just going to tap it off. And hopefully I do not get fallouts. Okay, maybe I should spray it. You know what? I spray it. Okay, do you know what I see? I think my setting spray messed up my eyeshadow. I think it did. What? Okay, so I think I need to fix this. That set setting spray is going to be thrown away. Okay, that was an easy fix. This has never happened before. So for the last thing, I want to take this one in my inner corner, of course, because this has been the inner corner week. And yeah, I think this will go real good on top of the shimmer that I put a little bit in there. And I am so right. Okay, so that made it a lot lighter. So for my waterline, I take this one from LA Girl. This is fresh. So I put on some mascara and a lippy and then I come back with a finished look. For my lips, I took a Lethal Departure. I think I used it earlier this week. And I also took a Lucid Lip, like lip gloss from Kaleidos. And this is Crystallize. And 
yeah, this is my final look for this week. I used these blue and green shades and I like the look. Blue is not my favorite. I like it, but it's not my favorite and I don't know if I'm that happy with this look. I think I would wanted to have like the shimmer much much more, but it feels like it, it has been a lot of shimmers this week. And I also want to show you something, just a little like side note. When I use the shadows, I put them back into my lethal palettes and I got some really cool color stories out of that. This is absolutely my favorite. It looks like this. I think this looks really cool and I like want to use them and I will keep them like this. The other one... is not that fun. It looks like this, but... I know that I would never like mix them like this, so that was also like something that I'm happy that happened when I've done this lethal week. So I might want to play with this in a video and maybe this one as well. I don't know. But I really want to thank you all for the support I have gotten this week. It has been so fun to play with lethal. I have enjoyed every look that I have done and please tell me which one is your favorite. I think actually the first one, the pink and purple, is my favorite and then maybe the purple and green. It has just been so so fun and it feels really good. Now I have used all my singles that I have from Lethal and if you want to see anything more with Lethal please let me know. I think I will do Maybe two looks, one palette with the well, well, well wet with the velvet dusk, and maybe do something more with the after dark. I haven't used it much on my channel, but yeah, I really hope you like this video and this week. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.